where have all the Microsoft SQL Server certifications gone? And why should you care? Hello, I'm Philip Burton of idodata.com. Well, you can see on the screen that some reasons why Microsoft think you should have their certifications. So I know today's knowledge will become obsolete by tomorrow. So I'm counting on the certifications to keep me up to date. Reasons include making more money. This is according to a Pearson View survey, receive recognition, feel empowered with 91%, believe that the effort that they've put in contributes to their success, and much more. But where are all the SQL Server certifications? Well, there used to be quite a number. For example, there was exam 70-461, all about querying TSQL. And that was supplemented with 20-761, which was for SQL Server 2016. In addition to that, there were 70-462, 463, 70-762, 763, and so on. However, these exams have been retired. And this is in what some people were calling Certificadon. So a combination of certification and Armageddon. And Microsoft decided to retire all of their Microsoft Certified Solution Associates, Solutions Developer and Solution Experts exams. So this included lots of SQL Server certifications and exams. And so my hope was, great, hopefully they're going to replace them, but they didn't. Then we have other exams, like the 98-364. Now, this is at a lower level. For example, my course on 70-461 and 761 is about 29 hours long. My course on 98-364, only about 9 or 10 hours long. So it's much tightly focused. It's much less advanced. However, following the certificadon, Microsoft announced that these exams, the MTA, Microsoft Technology Associate exams, were also going to retire, in other words, not be available. Now, it's true that if you had bought a voucher, then you could do it any time up to June the 30th, 2022. But unfortunately, I'm assuming that if you're watching this video, you haven't got one. And so that means that all of these certifications no longer available and Microsoft have not replaced them. So what have Microsoft got instead? Well, there's the DP900 exam, for instance, which is all about Microsoft Azure data fundamentals. The DP300, which is all about administering relational databases on Microsoft Azure. So clearly their focus is now online. And if you go into the exams skills outline, you'll see that there is a brief reference to being able to read SQL statements. But that's it. The describe relational concepts is at a much lower level than it was for the 98-364 exam. The administering relational databases, yes, you will need to know a fair bit of TSQL code, but it's identifying it. So you need to perform administration by using TSQL, for instance. So identifying certain SQL commands in TSQL, but you'll see from this exam outline that the amount of TSQL things you need is just limited to the last section and 10 to 15%. So I do not regard either the DP300 or the DP900 exams as being replacements for what has been lost, the 70-461, 761, or even the 98-364 series. So can you still use what's here? And I say the answer is yes. If we go down into the download exam skill outline, this gives you some 20 or so major sections that Microsoft wants you to know. And the advantage of this is that you can then use this as a structure to go, okay, do I know about this? Do I know about understand XML data types? Do I know about union and union all? And with this, you can then go, yes, I do. No, I don't. And then learn it. These are skills that Microsoft want you to know. 
even if Microsoft is no longer interested in offering these certifications. So if you were somebody who wanted a certification in SQL, what would you do? Well, firstly, why would you want that certification? And I think we would need to go back to this list of reasons. So 26% reported job promotions. And it's not just promotion in your current job. It may be you're going for a new job and you want to be able to say, okay, it's not just me saying I can do this, it's Microsoft saying this. So receive recognition. And that's very important. But these exams are no longer available. So what would I do? Well, I would look at this level to start with, the 98-364 database fundamentals. So, as I said previously, when I was in my course, the 70-461 requirements, around 29 hours of video, this 98-364 requirements, around 9 hours or so of video. Okay, well that's fine, but I still can't do the exam, so what's the point of that? Well, there is something you can do. If I scroll down, you'll see that the exams are with Pearson View and with Certiport. Now Certiport have launched their own series of certifications and they were launched just when these MTA exams were no longer available to everybody. And I think they are basically a replacement for them. So if I scroll down, you can see that we can learn practice certified. So if I go to certify, you can see that these are all the different certifications for information technology specialist. And one of them is databases. So candidates for this course will demonstrate foundational knowledge on how to design and query relational databases such as Microsoft SQL Server. So it is not centered just in Microsoft SQL Server. It could be MySQL or Oracle. It's really agnostic. It doesn't mind which version you do. So if I look at the objective domains, the curriculum looks fairly similar. Now it's true that there are some things which are added and it's also put things into the ANSI SQL syntax as opposed to SQL server syntax. So it's put it into the theoretical form that Oracle, MySQL, SQL server are basing theirs on. And in a couple of months, I will be updating my 98-364 course to follow this particular exam objectives. So if you're looking to be certified in your ability to be able to write queries, then I would look at the IT specialist certification as your first port. And if I can help you, then please join me in my course, Database Fundamentals. And then afterwards, why not have a look at my other courses on 70-461 and 761, or the Oracle equivalent, IZ0071. And that certification is still being offered. Thank you for joining me in this video. If you like it, then please click the like button. And why not subscribe and click the bell next to it so you'll be notified of any new videos. Thank you for watching this and keep learning.